Hello, I am Karina Cat, and this is Final Fantasy XIV Main Scenario Quest Playthrough, ARR Edition. A Realm Reborn. I guess I should probably say Realm Reborn. Anyway, yes. Uh, anyway, we left off with uh, Hayden here telling the worst joke ever because uh, I was just sent on a wild dodo chase to find some corrupted ether, I mean crystals, and uh, yeah, no. He tried. He thought he was funny. He's not funny. I want to punch him in the head. All right. I beg your pardon, Nixalia. I forgot to return your crystal to you. Oh, and there was a message for you, for you from Professor Lambertin. Uh, something about a man named Marques. Apparently, the professor misses the intellectual stimulation. Forgive me. I should have written it down. Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't use. Wait, wait. I. How did you get the message then? Wouldn't it have been like a letter? Uh, you don't have. Link pearls, maybe. Wait. Wait. Uh, uh, so I'm looking at the, the, the list of quests and there's two that aren't on here. Oh. Or it just, it just skipped two. Oh, they, that might have been from when they condensed it down. Oh wait, hold on. So for those who don't know, at some point they uh, revamped ARR to give more experience from the main scenario quests. And they removed some quests that were just running back and forth. And Some quests? Yeah. yeah. So there might so depending on how old the list you you looked at it is, it may be missing some. Interesting. Well cool. We might be farther down then. We thought. Yeah. I... Anyway. <clears throat> it occurs to me that I have yet to ask why you needed the crystal. Uh, you aren't planning anything nefarious, are you? It would reflect poorly on me and my research if it was used for evil ends. Oh, the evil is. Don't you worry. Oh, well, perhaps it's best I remain ignorant. I didn't become the professor's greatest pupil by filling my head with unnecessary information. There it is again. Mm -hmm. You know he has other pupils, yes? Yes, but not as, as, as studious as I am. Clearly. Boop -a -doop -boop -doop. But yeah, so we probably... So there's two quests that weren't on that list, so... So maybe initially it wasn't a joke after all. Mm. Oh, <laughs> maybe, because that did look like an Earth one, because it's it was orange. Greetings, madam. Do you wish to proceed to your vessel? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <sighs> hey there, little elf shit. How's it going? Why do you tarry, Exalia? Uh, our work is not yet finished. We must press onward until the Harpy Queen lies broken at our feet. There's a reason why you have that nickname, elf shit. Just so you know. Whatever do you mean? Don't worry about it. Hey, Sid. All repairs and modifications have been completed, Exalia. Once you bring me that crystal, nothing will stand between us and Garuda. Yeah, see, that definitely did not look like a ice crystal. I'll need to run some tests to be sure, but this looks like this looks to be exactly what we need. We're not, Exalia. I'll see that you or your hard work doesn't go to waste. 
Gods, I hope not, because, oh my god. It was a struggle. I can only imagine. And once again, you have my appreciation. The Enterprise is already more than a common airship. Mark my words. Soon it will become something greater. Something extraordinary. This, this is me. This is what I was born to do. Finally! <laughs> According to my test, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony with the crystal, meaning we can leave whenever you're ready. But you must understand, tests can only tell one so much. Until we approach the Howling Eye, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot be sure that this will work. I think it only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistically significant chance that the crystal could trigger a massive... Mm, it may happen, it's better that we remain positive. Exalia, I want to thank you for, you for reuniting me with my ship, for trusting in me to develop this plan for everything. You've helped me to rediscover a part of myself I forgot. I am not the man I once was, and I do not know if I ever shall be, but I do know one thing. This feels right. <clears throat> and my apologies for the sudden outpouring of sentiment. Uh, I would have waited until after the mission, but, well, you understand. No hard feelings, buddy. Let's go kill us a Garuda. <sighs> there. She's ready. Ah, she stirs. To Curthus, and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Enterprise, engage. Why does he get to say it? Sid, this is your ship. Sigh. Oh, shit! Damn it. Ah, uh, I... I once flew in this airship, and I was not alone. There were adventurers on board. Adventurers like you. Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? <laughs> yes, I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. The young prodigy, admired by all, exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald.
It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? You abandoned us all. But he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end. Gaius was just another man, with an all-consuming obsession. And so I ran, left the Empire behind, and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks. Ah yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. I had forgotten how wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light, it was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure-blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. The Enterprise was made for this, to carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphenord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. I remember everything. My name, my people, and my purpose. Everything. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting.
Well, that was a thing. I have so many questions. I definitely don't remember any of that. I mean, I knew that he was a uh, Garlean, but... What? Yeah. That was interesting. What is it, Exalia? Don't tell me you are having second thoughts at a time like this. Or do you truly wish to return to Gridania? No. No, I didn't realize you were... Okay. All our efforts, all our travels, all of it was for this. Make ready, Exalia, for the end is nigh, be it hers or our own. Finally! We can take on Garuda. Boop. Ready? Yes. Oh, your party lead. Oh. Yes. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was that was interesting. Oh yeah, Sid's story is really good. His um I think you find out what happened to his father later. Yeah, I think I'm trying to remember and I don't know if I do or not, but Garuda got cheeks. Garuda voice her. Oh god, I don't know. Can I do her justice? Anyway. Ooh, Daz, intrude upon my sanctuary. Your insolence shall not go unpunished, landwalkers. Twelve preserve. She's, she's hot. I mean, huge. <laughs> As I live and breathe. Over there, look. The Malja and Kobold prisoners. Well, why would the Ixel bring them here? Hee hee ha 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 Where force come you hither, foolish mortals? Karuda, we have come to put an end to your reign of terror. Hear you this blasphemy, my children? These land walkers would bring me low. And who are bound to crawl upon earth upon the earth should revere me? For I am the wind. Did we not take to the skies and slip your defenses? We are bound to buy nothing, Garuda. You think your playthings give you strength? They will not help you here, Landwalker. This is my realm, where none can challenge my supremacy. Struggle though you may, I shall s slake. The roots with your blood and festoon, the canopy with your entrails. Ah! <laughs> She's a witch. <laughs> Slay the unfeathered ones, we shall as an offering to Karuda, they will suffer. Rawr. Rawr. Leave the Ixel to us, Exalia. We will keep them distracted while you deal with her. Clearly. Do not fail, Exalia. Remember, 
You fight for the silence. For Eosia. Abby. I have a book. This worm would die my, by my own hand. Come then. I shall grant you that which you seek. The healer? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have my... Oopsie. Oh. Yay, I have sure cast now, apparently. Oh no! Oh no! kicks like a truck. <laughs> she feel like don't, you got run over by a chocobo. Don't. No. Ah. Take cover. Still, cover to take. Soon, soon you will see the depths of your folly. The reckoning comes. There is no escape. No, none. She said. <laughs> have no hope here. None. None! Did you truly believe you could defy a god, Landwalkers? I thought you guys were going to take care of the Ixel. My power is limitless, my children legion, and they have rendered unto me a wealth of crystals. Their gifts sustain me, their faith empowers me. None save my children will escape the reckoning mortals. And those who would use my crystals to waken the rest shall realize the folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none but me, the one true God. <laughs> Ooh. 
Of course. Worship. So long as the Ix will keep praying, she will never fall. We probably should have done a little bit more about those Ixel. <laughs> then let's stop them. I thought that's what you guys were doing while I was fighting her! Oh, it was. <laughs> no harm will come to you, my children. This is only the beginning, Landwalker. All who oppose me shall suffer for their defiance. Soon the worms of the forest shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin next. Their walls of stone will not shield them from the tempest. And then will I take vengeance on the sea lice. Their wooden boats cannot outrun the wind. Tremble, mortals, for I shall visit you all in time. And all shall be mine. All mine! You, Landwalker. You, who dared to raise your hand against me, you shall be the first to pay for your sins. Not with your death, but with your life. You will serve me, Landwalker, to your last breath. Yeah, I'm temper immune, so... There's that. No, no! I claimed you! You should be mine! I've done it. I have the Infinity Gauntlet. Quick, snap. <laughs> Where's the snap emote? Give me the snap emote. I need the snap emote! I... <laughs> Say it. I am inevitable. I am inevitable. Nope. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I am Iron Man. What? <laughs> what are you? What have you done to me? Took your crystal, baby. Now what? What are you and your wind gonna do? Huh? Eh? No mortal should possess such power. This... This is impossible! Aha! We all did it, equally! Aw, they told me to enjoy the story. That was nice. Yeah. Only gets better. <laughs> it only gets better. It sure must better. Sure must better indeed. Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it! Ah! Impossible it is! Kill you all! Is that all? O oh, Lady of the Vortex! O oh, mighty Garuda! Of all primals, the most terrible! I say again, is that all? Gaius. Ah, uh, Sid, my boy, you look well. 
For one who has forsaken kin and country. I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... Well, I shall accomplish far more. Is that all? Is that all? Insolent mortal! I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Our Lord of the Inferno, Almighty Ifrit, grant us succor in our hour of need. Save us, Titan, Lord of Crags. Oh, it hurts us so. The pain, the pain. What is she? Twelve preserve. She cannot mean to... No. No, this is all wrong. Stop gopping, boy. We must run. Surrender yourselves unto me. I would feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind. Bear witness to the glory of the Empire! It is you who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alec had ways of dealing with your kind. Now, look on their ultimate weapon, Icon, and despair. No! 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 Magnificent. It exceeds all expectation. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. 
If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. I'm Twelve absolutely have mercy. Here. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion, and Supreme Commander of the Garlean Invasion Force in Eorzea. Of course. The Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts, but that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, Gaius. Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the Primals to one side. For the time being, at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Interesting. Mm hmm. Well, that was an experience I would rather not have again. Something has been troubling me, Exalia. Shortly before the Black Wolf took center stage, when Garuda attempted to claim you as her own, I could have sworn I saw... Ah, but I'm sure I was mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of the eye is apt to be mis misread by even the most inquiring mind. Forget I mentioned it. Returning to the subject of our earlier discussion, we may consider the matter of the Primals closed until further notice. No beast tribe will dare summon their god so long as that weapon exists. Truly, a more effective deterrent I could not imagine. It almost seems a shame to plot its destruction. Free wing knight. Like, like free wings? Like the food? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, that was an interesting development. Interesting. Indeed. indeed. Mm -hmm. What's your runtime at? Uh, 40 minutes. Oh, okay. That should be good. Or another one or two, depending on how short or long they are. Sweet. It is past time that we return to the Waking Sands. Ugh. To leave our headquarters in disrepair any longer would be to dishonor the memory of those who fell there. We have been brought to our knees, but we will rest, rebuild, and rise once more.
still got some of them tickets. Yeah, boy. Onwards to Vespa Bay. Pray return to the waking sands. Gods, damn it all! <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 hi to... No! Oh. She's still not here. I haven't been inside here since the massacre. <sighs> I, I had no idea, Xalia. I can only imagine how you felt when you returned to that day. It definitely was not fun. Tell me, Exalia, does that here strike you as odd? I see signs of recent habitation. Could it be that we have trespasses? Hmm. Yeah, but it's just my imagination. Come, let us proceed into the solar. Hmm. Suspicious, sir. Suspicious, sir. Oh no. Wait. Who goes there? Uh, you cut out for the first part of that. Who goes there? Yeah. Now, now, Ida, is that any way to greet a friend? Alphano! Exalia! And... Sid? Wait, is this a dream? Not that I'm aware of. It's been a while, Ida. I don't believe it. I I was sure you'd been. This place has seen better days. Uh, yeah, uh, you know I, I wasn't actually here when, I I, I was I was still in talks with the Adder's Nest. The the first I knew about it was when I came back and and I saw. Ida. The church had taken care of the bodies, but that still left the stains. It, it was hard to know where to start if Yastola hadn't been here to help. Yastola's here too? Yeah, yes, but she's, she's not here right now. She's gone to Old Aw to meet a man who might know what happened to the others. Papalimo and Manfilia weren't among the dead, according to the church. Yashola thinks they were taken somewhere. Upon the orders of the Black Wolf, no doubt. Why would he want them? Because they possess something he desires. Knowledge of another power that could be brought to bear against the primals. One that Gaius has yet to harness. The Echo. Ye God! Gaius will be aware of its existence as well as the immunity it grants the gifted to the primal's influence. Powerful though his ele elegant weapon may be, he would doubtless desire such protection. He means to use Minfilia to gain an understanding of the Echo. None of which explains how the Empire came to know the location of the Waking Sands in the first place. No matter. The Emperor has shown its hand, and now we must act. It is up to us to rebuild the Sands and save Eorzea. Can I count on you, Ida?
What? Oh, oh yes, y yes, of course. Whatever you need. We can discuss our next move upon Estrella's return. For now, I say we rest. Yay. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, no, I get to sit on the floor. Hear, feel, think. My eyes. Bringer of light. Brave gatherer of the crystals, thy soul burneth bright. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. Hearken unto me now, for the darkness doth begin to spread. Wear thee the bearer of the crimson brand, for he is the avatar of shadow, whom death attendeth always. The crystals shall be thy salvation, thy blade and shield both. Steal thyself, for at the appointed hour thou shalt stare into the heart of darkness. Go with caution, my child, but fear not, for I am ever with thee. You stole her! Exalia. I see you now, Fenora Save. And. And Sid? That we five should meet each other thus defies a simple explanation. It is as if the benevolent hand of Master Louisois guides us still. He would not see us undone so easily. Not now, when he needs, uh, when the need is so great. I know where Minfilia and the others are being held. Where? An Imperial strong hold in the heart of Mordona, Castrum Sentry. Mm hmm. Ah, yeah. The scions are partially back. Anyway, I guess that's where it's gonna end today. We defeated Garuda! Yay! And some other stuff happened. Yay! Anyway. That's gonna be it for Final Fantasy fourteen main scenario quest playthrough. Yeah. Bye bye.